Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex and today we're going to discuss shipping properties. Let's begin. This tab contains product properties that are important for automatic shipping cost calculation. So, specify this information to ease the shipping processing in the future. Now let's turn to properties. First, the weight of a single item in the default unit weight. By default, it is measured in pounds. This setting affects a shipping method weight dependencies. Dependencies, in turn, influence the shipping costs. They are found at the Shipping Charges tab of the Shipping Method Editing page. The general rule here is the bigger the weight, the more shipping will cost. Let's see what's next. Free shipping. Tick this checkbox and the product will be excluded from the shipping cost calculation. Again, this setting is related to the similar one from the Shipping Method settings. Only if both of them are enabled, free shipping becomes possible. The Shipping Freight setting adds a fee to the shipping cost of the selected product. It's not related to Shipping Method settings. Items in a box. The minimum and maximum number of product items to be shipped in a separate box. Usually it's one product per box, but if you alter numbers in the setting, you'll be able to change the box parameters. Tweak them according to your needs. Before we finish, I would like to remind you that all these changes affect the shipping cost. That's it about shipping properties of a product. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART videos.